What's up guys, today we are under a time crunch, so this video is gonna be somewhat short as I have some personal matters to attend to, but either way, we wanted to jump into the charts and just kind of go over, do an overview really quickly on what's going on. So after hitting 36,600 on Tuesday, we have seen a pullback here in the Bitcoin price. And if you watched uh, Tuesday's live stream, we spoke about this pullback. Remember that we said here, if we were in the Wyckoff accumulation phase C going into phase D, before we could continue up, there would be a pullback, which would present itself as the last point of support before this continuation up into phase D. So if we take a look here at the pattern here, we had the spring down here, then we had a higher high, then we had a higher low. Then again, we spoke about this at that point that we should be having another higher high at that point. As you can see here, after the spring, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, right? So right now we're higher high, higher low, higher high. This would be higher low at this point in time, right? So we should expect after this, uh, as long as we stay above $30,000, which is that higher, that previous higher low, then we should be fine overall with this pattern. Now, looking at it from this perspective right now, you see that yesterday we still did close above 35,000, but currently we are under 35K, right? I would like to see this close above 35,000, at least above 34,000, and set that higher low right here. But like we said, the low was here the higher low was 30,000 so anywhere above 30,000 which was this one right here we are still setting a higher low which kind of still puts us in that same path which would keep that accumulation phase pattern going for the meantime now of course i want to get out of this range right here because as long as we stay under this range under this $35,000 then the range that we're talking about is 28,000 to 35,000. If we can stay above 35, then that range flips into 35,000 up to $42,000. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much the quick breakdown on what we're looking at right now. As long as we're above 31,000, then we're still good with this pattern here. So tomorrow we'll do a more in-depth analysis if we have a little bit more time, hopefully, but I do have to go at this point. So I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. As always, peace and love.